Hello everyone, this is Chris Martel, and in this quick tutorial I'm going to illustrate how to make a simple and subtle dual color neon effect in KLWP. It works for fonts, shapes, and font icons. I'm going to work on the editor in landscape mode just to visualize it a bit better. First, I recommend you to do your globals before you start. In this case, we're going to make four globals. One for the top color, one for the bottom color, one for the white shine, and one for the font. You can use any color you want except for the white semi-transparent. And make sure the other two colors have some transparency as well. Otherwise, the modules won't be visible. In this case, I'm going to use some kind of hot red and purple for the main colors and white semi-transparent for the shine effect. I'm going to use Bermin Bives 2 Soft for the font. If you want to use this font, you can check the link in the description. Before I continue, please pay attention to the order I have each item in the list at the very end. That's very important. The item at the very bottom of the list is the first layer you see in the editor. Okay, now that the globals are set, Let's change the background to a darker color. And now I'm going to start by adding an overlap group because three modules will be used to create one and to get a more realistic look. This way it can be moved all together, also because we'll need to add padding. I'm gonna lock the layer view to visualize what's happening a bit better. Let's move the overlap group to the center, add a morphing text and call it color shine. I'm going to use the word neon for this demonstration. Use global font. Let's make it a little larger. Change the style to stroke. Let's make that 12. Change the color to complete transparency. Shadow blur to 100.
change direction and distance to zero and change the global color top. Add 50 of padding in all directions. Now go back and copy that module, name it bottom shine, and just add a vertical gradient and use the bottom color global. and change the shadow color to the bottom color global. And lastly, the most important step, which is the light source. Go back and copy color shine and name it shine. Change the stroke color to shine color global and the stroke size to 4. Change the shadow blur to 20 and the color to global shine. And that's it. That's the whole effect. See? Pretty simple. If you want to change the intensity of colors or shine, just increase or decrease the stroke values a bit. Also, if you only want to use one color, just remove the bottom shine module. Now, to avoid this video being too long and to avoid repeating steps, I'm just gonna jump to some shape and font icon neon effects I pre-made for this tutorial. As you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. It uses the same three modules and the same values. But you're still gonna have to adjust and play around with all the values depending on the size, font, font icon, and even the background color you'll use on your setup. And there you have it. I believe this tutorial shows the main idea, but let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this tutorial or any other design topics and I'll try to make a video about it. I'm gonna keep making more design tutorials for KLWP among other things. Please like and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful. That's all for today, thanks for watching y hasta la próxima.